Welcome everyone to the Million Dollar Makeover without the Million Dollar Price Tag. A TV reality show about people helping people in their community and coming together to make a difference in someone's life. I'm Daniel Murphy, also known as the Million Dollar Decorator. Won't you join me and my crew in making a difference? Because we're changing lives one room at a time. Dear Daniel Murphy and team members, I am a brain injury survivor and I regularly attend the Head Injury Association of Durham Region Day Activity Program. The association and the activity program have been a tremendous help for me and my family. I enjoy talking and doing things with other adults who, like myself, are dealing with recovering from brain injuries. Being around people who understand what life is like every day helps me more than anyone can know. The Head Injury Association of Durham Region has been helping people like me in the community for more than 17 years. About two years ago, the office moved into a much larger facility to accommodate the growing number of members. The activities have also grown and they are interesting and varied. I especially enjoy the yoga, exercises and weekly bingo game. The lunches are great too. As much as we members all love the new bigger facility, it could use a bit of a spruce up. Thus, I am nominating the association for the million dollar makeover. I'm sure the other members who enjoy, will enjoy the activities would agree with me. Welcome to the million dollar makeover without the price tag. On today's show, I decided we were gonna do things a little different. Different, how you ask? Well, we're coming at you from a different angle. I'm here at the Durham Head Injury Association where, well, we're here to redo and make over a room for them. What kind of room? Well, it's almost an everything kind of room. They do yoga, they do food preparations, they learn discussion groups, they learn how to cope with life skills, anything that's associated with a head trauma injury. And as you can see, they also have a pool table. And who doesn't love a pool table? I mean, you can come in, hit the ball, have a good game of pool. As well on today's show, we'll also be going to give you a behind the scenes look on what makes this show, The Million Dollar Makeover Without the Price Tag, tick. I'm going to be doing stand-ups and interviews with some of the interesting characters that make this show work for me. Because, you know, it's not just me who does this show. So, if you'd like to follow me, we're going to go outside, get this crew, because I really want to get this show on the road. There's lots to do. The room is gigantic, so come with me. Let's see what we can do. So we're ready, my team is ready. Let's get the show on the road, guys. Let's go! Let's go. Okay, does Daniel know there's a difference between a room and a lobby? When thinking of interior decorating, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, color, of course, it makes the biggest impact in a room. Where do I go for my colored paints and supplies? Right here at ICI. So I'm here at ICI Paints where I'm about to get some of that color I was talking to you about earlier that really makes a dramatic impact in the room. And joining me, of course, the big man himself, Graham at ICI in Oshawa. Graham, thanks for having me here. Good to see you again, Dan. Now, I have a, an interesting project coming up. I'm doing a head trauma center. Mm -hmm. Now, the actual establishment is pretty much a, a big warehouse, much like your store. Okay. Now, where would I start? Give the viewers an idea of where they would start to sort of tackle this kind of project as far as paint choices and what they would need. 
uh, first thing you're going to want to know is you're going to want to know what's existing, whether it's a, a latex or an oil base that's there. Okay. You're going to want to know what uh, what you're putting the paint onto, whether it's drywall or whether you're going onto a block concrete wall, something like that. Um, so you need to know what's existing. Is it a shiny surface? Is it going to be difficult to get paint to stick to it? And that to set them in the right direction. Yeah. As a matter of fact, i got a project right here in my pocket. Okay. You're magically going to turn this little piece of paper with two codes in it yeah. into some paint for my next project. I can absolutely do that. Follow him, he's going to show you how it's all done. Every painter's lifesaver for those mistakes we all make. Well, I don't make them. General purpose masking tape. And to fill those holes in the wall, drywall compound. Because you never know what people keep hidden behind their pictures that they put up in their houses. So, Graham, buddy, mm -hmm. how did those paint colors turn out for me? Everything came out great. Can I take a peek? There's your main color. That's Moonstruck. Ooh. Ooh. Quite striking. <laughs> and the accent color, that one's hot mustard. You know, that looks exactly like hot mustard. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it tastes anything like hot mustard. I'm not trying it. Mm. <laughs> Nothing says makeover like accessories. What do you think, MJ? Will these work? Sweet. Let's see, is it in the different fonts? Yeah, I'm just thinking welcome, inspire, and believe. But I can't get believe off the hook. You better believe it, okay? Perfect. Dreams and wishes can come true. That's perfect. And I'll just put it where they sit. Relax. This is it here, right? Okay. And uh, once again, I found everything I needed at SureFit, where it's always a great day. What, 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 what are we doing here today at the Head Injury Clinic? Can you give us a brief insight on what's it all about and what classifies a head injury and that sort of thing? Well, a head injury, we're really looking at brain injury, uh, often caused by automobile collision or uh, stroke or uh, by falls, lots of different reasons. But it's injury to the brain that causes some kind of a long-term disabling effect. It could be in the way you think, in the way you act, in the way you feel. Uh, it could be in your speech, in your senses, all sorts of different ways. I guess with such a delicate part of your body, there are a number of things that could misfire or, I yeah. guess, go wrong up in your brain? Absolutely. If you think the brain is the control center of all that we do, then Absolutely. really anything we could do could be affected by We have by people brain. in wheelchairs and scooters. We have people who look physically fine but mm -hmm. have some problems with um, their abilities uh, and their skills uh, at, at a mental level. Okay. Uh, and then we have people who have uh, vision problems, uh, speaking problems, and all those sorts of things. So the, you, the range is wide. Yeah, your doors are open to just about every, every aspect of a head injury. Absolutely. Awesome. <laughs> Come 
Come on, everybody. K and K lunch is here. Good afternoon and welcome to Cordon Seuss. Can I take your order? Well, we both know I'm just lying because I don't have a clue on how to make or do anything back here when it details food, but I know somebody who does. Come in the kitchen. We're going to meet Sue Tran. It's going to be something really special for all of us. Come on. So what are we doing here today? Well, welcome to my kitchen, first of well, all. Yes, I've never been. Thank yes. you. This is a unique angle. Yes. Yes. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, we're doing cupcakes today. Okay. These are some cupcakes I've been making today. And I thought you could like to decorate some with me. I, I'd love to decorate some with you, but I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think mine are going to turn out half as pretty as yours. But you're very artistic, so. Well, I have help. You're talented. You teach me. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to, I know you, you like chocolate here. I do so. love the chocolate, and I'm so doing everything in my power not to lick the bowl. Okay. So all <laughs> it's really easy. You're okay. just going to dip this in. Okay. Go for it. Just right in there? Just dip it right in. Mm. Just go for it. Dip it right in. Mm. Just like so? Just like so. Is that good? Lift it up, lift it up, and you'll be amazed at how you do it. Is that good? Oh. Just it in. Look at how short look that looks. Look at that. Now you can choose a flower to put on top. Not yet. <laughs> you can choose a, these, are, um, these are little tulips and roses Kay. and chocolate flowers. Well, let's do tulips since it's getting close to Easter. You just, I can just drop just it in drop the middle. Just drop it right in the middle. Okay. Isn't that amazing? It's so beautiful. And then you can take piping bag. Okay. And you can do some pink trim to match around the outside. Just like that. Oh, okay. So cute. Well, you made that look so easy. Let's see if you can. Okay. This is where it all gets ruined. <laughs> okay. Just squeeze it. Squish. That's good. Squish. Look at that. Squish. Squish. Oh, it's not looking so pretty. It's looking good. Squish. I'll eat this one. <laughs> Get it for the nice yeah, yeah. one when you're done. When I'm done, because mine's really sad. I'm just gonna pipe this on here like this. Oh, look at that! And then we're just gonna pipe the trim. Yeah, just like that, eh? And um, we can just do some dots, yellow dots, like this. Incredible. And then we're just gonna pop. This. So fast you do that, Sue. There we go. Now, when you when you first started doing, of course, treats, pastries, stuff, and things like this, did your first muffin look like that? No, of course not. I've been doing this 16 years here, so of course it didn't look like that the first time. Yeah, yours probably looked better than this the first and time. No, it was worse than that. I think you're lying because this one, I would even hold yeah. a door open with yeah. this. <laughs> but I'll eat it later. I'll eat it. So. I bet you thought that the Million Dollar Makeover decorator was like this really hot babe. Well, if it wasn't for this woman, Pirette Cole, makeup artist extraordinaire, man, I would be damn ugly. <laughs> oh, well, you're a handsome sweetheart. I'd pay her to say that. Uh, I was just wondering, Christine, how does it feel to be there on the other side of the lens? Well, I'm a little bit worried about your side. Did you read the manual? No, I just <laughs> thought I'd take some pictures. Oh, good. You're a bit close. Now, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. Good. As you can probably tell, you know what you're doing. Well, tell me a bit about your business and how I could never get any good pictures without you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Canon Images does a wide variety of photography. We do everything from family portraits to business portraits and a lot of things in between. Sporting events, uh, corporate events, things like this. So pretty much anything that has a story, we'll pull the story out. Now, so. your angle, I've noticed from what you've done for us as far as the Million Dollar Makeover, your angle seems to be you really catch the shots that people weren't expecting to be caught. And it's almost the true story about what's happening behind the scenes. Is that your, your angle and your style? Because it seems to be really a, a unique flavor for your work, I've noticed. Well, thank you. Um, what I actually, I sort of, in my mind, envision it to being like a writer. So okay. you just pull the story out. So whatever the story is in front of you, you want to pull the story out, not have someone tell you what the story Absolutely. is. Absolutely. So when they're posing and setting it up, that doesn't work. So what 
what is the story behind the scenes like we're doing today? That's right. So that's the angle that I sort of hope that I'm capturing. So you capture the real story. Yeah, the character of the you know the family or the organization or the person or whatever. Awesome. So not the pose stuff. No, yeah. the real stuff. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. And on that note, can you show me how to work this camera maybe? And we'll, like, what, what should I do to, to get a good picture? Well, first of all, you shouldn't be that close. <laughs> oh, okay. See, see, I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? Let's just take a picture at random and we'll see what we can do. Okay. Say cheese, Durham. Now, being the million dollar decorator, I like to ride around in ultimate service. And by ultimate service, obviously, I mean ultimate limousine. Terry? Thanks yeah, for joining yeah. me here today. Thank you, my pleasure. Now, give my viewers a little taste of what it's like to own a limousine company. What kind of services you provide and what goes into it? Because I don't think a lot of people really understand. Well, thanks. Uh, what goes into it is a lot of hard work on the uh, technology side as far as operating uh, first class limousine services is, is what we, we know. Not only do you get the white gloves, but we offer vehicles that have the latest technology. Working with a company called Picom. We have this car, the one we're sitting in today, wirelessly enabled, so it's actually a traveling hotspot. So if you can imagine, as a business customer, being able to get in this car and stay online till you get to the airport or wherever you need to get to, so you can keep the work flowing. So it's a virtual moving office, it's if you will. It's absolutely a traveling conference room. So awesome. I, you actually pick that perfect, and then it's really starting to pick up. So it's, it's taking advantage of new technology. Mm -hmm that we have enabled in this car, as well as certainly we do weddings and proms, and we have three of these cars, uh, two black and one white, and we also have a Rolls-Royce Classic, a 1961 Silver Cloud. Wow, and everyone who's watching the show already knows that that's going to be my favorite ride. Absolutely. But on that note, I've always wanted to drive one of these big, beautiful, luxurious monsters. Can I, can I actually get in the, the captain's seat and give it a go? You're more than welcome to have this one. As a matter of fact, Daniel, we need a screwdriver, so if you think you like this, I'm more than happy to Let's see if I qualify to drive this beast. It's a little intimidating. You know what I'm thinking? There's two things that come to my mind. You need my gloves. Uh, uh, well, maybe. That could be one. That, okay, that's three things. The two things that came to my mind was, A, um, I don't have a driver's license. <laughs> and B, Get out of the car. in all honesty, I think I prefer the back. It's way too much for me. Now, Tim, 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 Tim. Yes, sir. It's not very often we get the chance to talk about, uh, you know, such a big room. Normally, we're in a little bedroom confined with a lot of holes that you usually fill. Oh, yeah, it's uh, quite the difference. Uh, yeah? I noticed it's quite large, and actually, we're, we're knocking her down pretty quick. Well, Tim's knocking her down pretty quick. I just stand here. Well, for the most part, the bigger room like this, the more open, the more space, the quicker it goes. I, I'm seeing that, and actually I was quite intimidated by the size of it when I first came to look, so you don't think it's going to take us oh, as long no. as usual? Oh no, not even close. Not just even because close. it's everybody's so spread out, uh, Okay. you know, not everybody's not tripping all over each other, painting, yes. painting each other. That's right, yeah. usually we're pretty, we're back to back fighting for space. Um, tell the viewers what it is, uh, we know that you're my, my handy guy, you're my contractor, now what, what, give us a behind the scenes on Tim. Um, well, currently I work for a general contractor, commercial. Uh, big stores, big buildings, schools, uh, framer, drywaller by trade. Okay. Um, that's pretty much about it. So an old, an old cliche comes to mind when, when you mention that. It would be, uh, what was it? Jack of all trades, maybe master of none? Oh yeah, that works actually quite well. Sweet. Well, I don't want to keep you master. I'm out of here. He's got a lot of work to do. So I'll leave you with Tim. <laughs> uh, always in the way, isn't he? Well, I guess it's time to find a new contractor. Brendan O'Neill. It is fantastic to see you here today to join me and my crew as uh, we do the head injury uh, center. So um, you're on the end of a paintbrush today. I, I haven't seen you on this side. I know that when we did the, the girls' room, you were there to pitch in and help. Now, uh, what is this? You guys wanted to help pay it forward? You decided to join us today? Definitely. Uh, yes, uh, we're going to play it forward and uh, do what we can to, to help out. And you know, we're here. Well, that's where we can do what, what we can do, you know? Awesome. You see, now that's the whole point of the show. People who we help like to pay it forward and we give back to the community one member at a time. You're setting an awesome example and I don't want to keep you away from your painting because everybody knows I don't do any of the painting or the real work. <laughs> everybody else does. So thanks for joining me, bud. You're welcome. You're I'll welcome. see you again. See you then. Okay. So in the Million Dollar Decorator, I promised you a behind the scenes look at some of my camera people and my friends and my help. Now we're going to start here with MJ Slatkin. MJ, camera girl extraordinaire, uh, what's it like to work on the set uh, and videotape moi? It's amazing, it's so much fun, 
and we're making such a big difference to people's lives. It's very good. See, that's good. That's good. Um, however, Daniel, uh, do you know what you're doing with the camera? Like, did you white balance or? Um, Ben. <laughs> ben, you're cam recorder, uh, cam man extraordinaire. Tell me a bit about what you do and why you're working with cameras and why you're involved with this show. Oh, well, cameras are a lot of fun. Um, actually, you know, I like the other part of the show where I get to go around uh, to the spa and everything better, but this is okay too. <laughs> Am I in focus, by the way? Uh, yeah. Jean Claude. Jean Claude. Yes. Tell us what it's like to be the photographer extraordinaire slash producer of the Million Dollar Makeover without the price tag. Uh, a lot of work and very satisfying, yes. Uh, it's great. I, I just love it. I, what? Do you have enough headroom on top? He headroom? Yeah. He yeah. yeah, yeah, lots of headroom. Owen Campbell, cameraman extraordinaire number four. What's it like to work on this show, the Million Dollar Makeover, without the price tag? Well, it's pretty exciting because you never know what you're going to do next. Um, like maybe you need to put band batteries in your camera? But in my, my camera? You know what? All of you are really extraordinarily great camera people, but I think I've just reached my limit with each of you because clearly I don't know what I'm doing, so whatever. Kasha, Kasha, Kasha. Yeah. Five minutes we got till the end of this makeover. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, could we do something about this? Are you kidding me? I'm, I gotta go, but come on, fix it up. Kasha, it's that time again. We've reached we're walking the, backwards? We're walking backwards because we've reached the end of a makeover and we're not letting anybody pass until we get in here first. So, let's let them come in. Okay, allow everybody to come Come on in everybody and take a peek at your finished room. Now, is this somewhere where you can all relax a little better? It's, big, it's a bit bigger now because we haven't put any tables down yet, but here it is. Well, the Million Dollar Makeover has come to another end of another makeover. And we simply do it because we're trying to... Change lives one room at a time. One gigantic room at a time. Come on, let's go hang. Until next time. Bye! <laughs> Welcome to the Million Dollar Decorator. Today I'm coming live at you, but you can't. Where everything's sure fits on. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> This is what I'm used to. Who wants to drive himself around when you can ride in style like this? <laughs> Home games! <laughs> okay.